in this video we will see if couples think alike obviously not but let's go i would stay with my partner even if they cheated on me what would you do no the cheater always a cheater so if i cheated on you perfect Ugh. what would you do break up break up if i cheated on you that, that would would break up on me yeah hmm if i would if you would cheat on me yeah. that's not what you said last time oh. liar <laughs> Uh, I don't know. She said, even though if you just do me, do me do a hundred times, it's okay. hundred times? I didn't say hundred times. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, before I would think that way. How nah. dare you before? How dare uh, you? What the? You so wouldn't you break that? If I cheat, you wouldn't come back with me. And you cheat, I'll come back with you. Yeah, but that's what you said before. Yeah, but before. Why are you taking back your words? <laughs> so you're gonna cheat on me? Not say <laughs> <laughs> Okay, why would you change your mind? <laughs> huh? People Gaya. change. Uh -huh. Copy -cop. People change. Somewhat agree. Charlie, stay with the partner they cheated. Um, Are they couple? And we've been together for two, two years. years. Not really a real relationship until you reach three years. Because third year is where you fight. Is it fourth? Third year. Third year is the hard part, and then you fight again. Seventh year. Very hard. Very, very hard. Third year of real. That's where everything is tested. More fights and more potential breakups. This, these guys look Filipino. I have considered breaking up with my partner. Okay. A hundred times. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, well, you did. I strongly agree too. I have strongly about agree. It strongly, times. strongly, strongly, strongly. And yet, agree. I'm still here. Send help! Help me! Help! <laughs> but I, I think it is part of the relationship, where where things get difficult. You will think, nah, ah, I think we should break up because everything's not working. I think no couples. Yeah, I don't think any couples have never thought about it. If they didn't, they're probably lying or they're relationship is still fake. <laughs> yeah their relationship is fake or their relationship is still there where they're still in the lovey dovey yeah stage. they're they're not used to each other yet like they're yeah. not seeing the flaws of their partner yeah. there's no mistakes have done or they're just letting it slide until where you reach where you're more experienced and know that oh this partner's doing this more frequent more mistakes but eventually uh, you go th do go through it where uh, you stick together, accept each other and think that, oh, okay, I really do want to spend my life with this person, even if it is a struggle. Relationships are like that. Ups and down. It's never going up, up, up. Even if I want, uh, in a perfect world, fights would never exist. We're not in a perfect world, so we have to experience yeah, those to learn more. But the generation now is cheating is okay. Like they call huh? it sneaky links now, meaning like, oh, you're basically meeting up with somebody that you shouldn't be. People glorify that. Like, oh, I'm a number one side chick. Why do you want to be a number one side chick? And why don't you want to be somebody's actual main and keep it faithful? You have to also set your boundaries online. Hey, I don't want you on this dating app. Hey, I don't want you. Why would you be in, why would you be in the dating app if you are in a relationship? That doesn't make sense. What, just to chat with someone? You shouldn't be in there in the first place. I would like to have children. How about you? Of course, strongly agree. If you're in a relationship, you would think of children. Unless you're very old and then your partner's young. Then, yeah, I guess they would say no. Depends on your money. Yeah, that too. <laughs> if you don't have money, you shouldn't really have a child. In the Philippines, even if you don't have a child, you st I mean, you don't. even if you don't have money, you still have a child. Having another mouth to feed and to pay bills won't really make you rich unless you're making a child be a child star. YouTube, which is not allowed anymore. Can't do that anymore. But they are now gone from YouTube, I think. They got deleted or something. Why? Because uh, they were taking advantage of their... Oh, you should cry like this. Cry like this. Show the camera, show the camera. There are things that you should not show YouTube, but 
For others, YouTube is just their uh, diary or their memory bank. As for me, that's what I do. Like whatever video I make, uh, vlogs I make, those are just our future. Like my friends uh, spend time where I, when I go to our country, I want to see that and look back that, oh, I've been to this. I'm not pushing a human being out. Who am I to, you know, just go, oh, you having babies. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, I can't do that. You have to think the factor that not everyone can be parents. Not everyone can have a child, but not everyone can be good parents to, to nurture the child to be a better person because there's a lot of... Keep word <laughs> yeah. yeah, because you have a lot of people there having children and spoiling their children. Oh, you're so perfect. You're the best child in the world. You can never make a mistake. Oh, it's okay you hurt someone or stab someone with a fork. It's fine. You're an angel. Like those parents, like those are toxic, toxic parenting. That you're making your child be like, oh, you're the best. You could never do no wrong. Even if you see that your child is a monster. Like I saw this in front of me. I can't do anything because I can't hurt a child. If I become a child, like reverse time and punch him, I could do that. But I can't. Yeah, but it depends on the perspective. That's the point because if you're you're a parent and you think that oh it's okay he punched him it's fine it's cute, it's not because if you hurt if you see your child hurting somebody else and you think it's funny that's not funny if you're the one who's being hit. If you get hit as an adult oh that's so funny that no if you were in the situation that your child got punched by another child no you need to be held accountable of your children. I see it multiple times. Especially in playgrounds where I have to guard my sister's children to guard him. And then these other children uh, try to hurt him and punk him, punk him. Like, hey, what are you doing here? Which doesn't make sense. This is like baby gangster. Like, he's, 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 he's pumping his chest like, hey, that's my toy. It's like, it's not your toy. And I look at him. Like, I look at him like this and then he, oh, okay. he backs up. As if I can do anything, I can't hurt him. He's a child. I'd go to jail. I, uh, in a play store, uh, I have to guard the child. Whenever someone goes near them, and I see that they're trying to hurt them, I go in between them, then make my nephew, niece, move the other way, and then that guy st just stays there. Because I don't want him getting hurt. I see a child there, tripping other children, and the parents just holding their phones like, Oh, so cute. Oh, candy crush. Like, everyone can have a child, but not everyone can be a parent. I just want to build right. a whole team, so. <laughs> whole team? She's having them too. Don't be looking like I'm just doing it by myself. Absolutely not. Economic ability to support a child because growing up in a low income household, I do know, like, the effects. Of I'm half white, half Filipino. And so I, oh, was like, oh, I knew it. I knew it. He's Filipino. Do it. Oh, he is. Oh! Filipino. Philippines! <laughs> All Filipinos will always bring up, I'm Filipino. Even if you don't really have to say that you're Filipino, they will always bring up, I'm Filipino. It is fil uh, pride for your race, I guess, country or nation. Yeah. You will always say, I'm Filipino. Are you Filipino? Oh, I'm Filipino too, even in other countries. But there are some Filipinos that hate their own kind. Because if you go to other countries where they're more successful, and you see Filipinos and they look down on you. How did you get here? I consider myself a minority, but then I realized when somebody punched me in the face and then verbally, you know, hearing things being made fun of because I'm Asian. I he was almost crying. in soulmates. Leanna? Somewhat agree. Leah? Agree. Jamal? Agree. How about you? <clears throat> Do you believe in soulmates? Agree. Not but it doesn't mean uh, it's your partner. No. Mates, yeah. Partner. I believe. I guess there are soulmates that there are your guy friends, soulmates that are your girlfriend, best friends, best friends that oh you're my soulmate that you are. Because soulmate doesn't actually mean that you have to be in love with them. You just have to be you're together. You're friends. You're strong. Uh, like you're really connected. You're really connected. Even if you don't talk for each other for years, you're still close. Like nothing. No years separate from. No time has separated you. But yeah, I do believe on that. They don't technically have to be your partner, but strongly agree. Yeah, of course. I don't. Strongly agree. I don't know mine though. Who's gonna be my soulmate? Andy. <laughs> huh? 
안녕하세요. <웃음> Who? No. Who's your soulmate? Who's your best friend? Yeah. Not me. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, you're stuck with me for life. Like we we went through the worst. We got through it. We feel. Escape. <laughs> I feel like we can defeat anything that comes our way. Okay. So, yeah, that was it. That was the video. I uh, hope you guys learned something. Uh, we did touch up on things that are uh, pretty informative. What uh, you expect in the relationship. And yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy for now. <laughs> help! Help! <laughs> help! She's killing me! Ah, uh, if you are a gamer, I still do believe this, and I've told this to Andy as well. But if you are a gamer and you really want to have fun play games, uh, I don't suggest having a girlfriend. I still do. I don't suggest it because you won't have time. <laughs> you won't have time, especially if you don't know how to manage. It. Yeah, you don't know how to manage it. Like, uh. Because for as a gamer, you would play your whole day. You could do that all day, and you could possibly get tired or not. For me, I still get tired because I could stream. I could stream for hours and just play the game because it's pretty fun. I like playing games. I enjoy playing games until like someone toxic joins, and I don't want to play the game when it starts getting toxic because it's pretty annoying and pretty boring. Like in Call of Duty, that's a that's a, one of the reasons why I stopped playing Call of Duty because everyone is so toxic. Like. That's why I moved to multiplayer games with the play it takes two. Um, but yeah, my girlfriend is not a gamer. Um. <laughs> She's not normally a gamer. We did play it normally. takes normally uh, or a traditional <laughs> gamer. I appreciate what she's done because we played games. Even if she doesn't play games, we played multiple games. Mobile Legends, uh, especially the mo platformer game it takes two. It took a while for us to finish. She keeps dying. And not be able to move on to the next stage of the game. PUBG. We played PUBG. PUBG. We used to play it a lot. Yeah. And I used to stress a lot. A lot. Like all about winning. I would really want to win. Mm. Like uh, I, I become toxic as well. That's where I started. Toxic. I really want to win. I don't want to lose. But the important part of playing with others is just to have fun. You're having fun. Uh -huh. Who told you it. that? Mm. Hmm? Hmm? He taught me that <laughs> that I should have fun. As long as I'm having, we're having fun, we're good. Because to me, before I, it was wasting time. If you don't win, you're you're just losing. You're not learning. But it's fine. Now I understand that you just have fun. But uh, it takes two. It was really stressful. You could watch it on my second channel or <laughs> on the Twitch channel. It's there too. It was very stressful. I'm already there, and she's like two stages away. <laughs> she she keeps dying, and she's like, ah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it is a pretty hard game, though. We were like thinking for a while on how to move on to the next stage, and we couldn't think of anything how to do it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, more videos like this, if you like the video, uh, can't really dislike it anymore. So that's you have to like it that's the only choice you have and subscribe it's free if you want more of these kinds of videos comment them down below and thank you for watching and that's all for us see you in the next one hope you guys like the video leave a like and subscribe and click that bell button so you get notified when i post another video gamer girls don't exist